morning, uh, good morning, Leonard. <laughs> morning practice. Crazy Army. Seven stroke. With accents, without accents. So I invite you all to uh, practice with me and uh, my morning practice. I want to share it with you and uh, inspirational and it's nice that people share their practice routine I think. only can practice with a drum pad because it's of course very early and to warm up of course flams are very good Good morning everybody, in Holland this morning, I don't know what time of the day it is in your place, coffee is very important of course. So we're just practicing, it's very important to practice and now maybe it's time, you have a lot of time to practice if you are in isolation. So use it wisely. Paradiddle, flam, paradiddle. Flam, paradiddle, flam, paradiddle, yes. And always it's very important to look at your hands, how your movement is going. Analyze your technique.
This is my favorite one. It's a seven stroke. Starts from left to right. Doubles. And one single. People always are focusing on speed, but it's very wisely to do it as slow as possible. Ooh. Really connect with what you're doing. Feel every hit and every bounce. Okay, shall we go? Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, shall we go to? Uh, do you know this drummer? I don't know if he's very famous with you. I just uh, found out this man. He's called, I think, Steve, Steve Gett or something. So. Um, the crazy army. Okay, so I counted off. And everybody in the house gonna join me on the practice pad. Alright, one and two. So this is from the up close book and I'm doing letter A from the first page, page number three, the crazy army solo. And it's, you have to be in the groove, that's very important. It's not, not just an exercise with no emotion, no feel, it's all music. So the hardest part to do here is that it's without accents, only the flamic U has an accent. Okay, again, one and two. Again. Again. 
B. C. Ah. Okay, C. One and two and Repeat, see? <laughs> Repeat, see? Again, see? Okay, I'm on purposely do it in this tempo for everybody that you can follow this one. So it's up close from the Steve Gadd book, the Crazy Army exercise. And it's great for your technique. You have the flam taps. <laughs> yeah, Peter, I know. But we are moving on, man. I don't care. I'm also recording this on YouTube Live. It's the purpose. Uh, and on YouTube Live, it's recording. And then it's on my site. So you can watch it back. That's also the purpose. So... Um, Let's do uh, do it with each other. But I s see that there are two people watching. Or is the other one me? This one, I don't understand, but good. What you don't, Ina. Ina, thank you for your uh, positive messages. You can ask me questions if you want, if you're still there. Okay, so we have the flam tap. So that's our rudimental exercise. It's a flam with a single note on the same hand. So it's our seven strokes. In doubles from left to right.
So I'm just fooling around a little bit to get you inspiration. Okay, I look. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I have another uh, person in the, on the Instagram live. That's nice. So I'm practicing. I'm just sharing my practicing, my morning practicing routine. And I do this also, of course, for my students because we're all in isolation, so I cannot teach anymore. So we have to teach online. And uh, I think I share some inspirational facts. And now I see that my man Guy joined, who did a fantastic version of Steve Gadd, Manhattan Transfer. I'm so proud and so nice that I could inspire him. And it's an ill honor that he uh, played so fantastic. You have to watch that. I don't know if it's on YouTube, but he plays uh, amazing. So I'm just practicing and to uh, for my students to have some extra inspirational in these difficult times. Because if you are in isolation, the best thing you can do is practice. Why not? And my students have to play the Crazy Army um, version of the Up Close book. So this is also a YouTube live. And uh, so I'm just fooling around with it again. So people who have practice pets with him, them can join me. One, we start at letter A. One and two. So now my concentration is away. One and letter A again. One and two. B, more accents. C. Okay, so let's go to D, one and two and Okay, so um, at letter uh, E, that's uh, mostly a bass drum exercise. The tap dance thing, we cannot do that in 8 o'clock in the morning for my neighbors. But this has a 9 stroke in it. So the second measure of E is a flam. 1 and 1 and 2. 1 and 2. So that's a nine stroke. It's nice to practice this with the And always look at your hands to correct your technique. Guy, if you're still there, 
I don't think if you're still there, but if you are there, do you have a transcription of the uh, get thing? I would love to have that. So, and then F, that's very exciting, because then we are going to filling up the gap. So that's very nice. And of course there has to be a bass drum on the accents, what makes it really nice to practice. So what I'm doing always is, uh, oh, great, Guy. Thanks, man. Uh, what I do always is that I'm focusing on the hard parts and gonna loop that. So I never play F again, F again, G again, but this is a very hard part uh, in this that you play. Especially the left hand. That one is hard. The less measure of F. Thank you, man. Inai. Where are you from? Uh. So, let's do F and G. One and two and ah, that's not good. F and G, one again, one and two and. Yeah. 
Okay, the first the first measure of G is amazing, funky. Repeat that. It's important that you don't... Uh, the Czech Republic, wow. That's a nice country. Uh, the most important thing is that you um, don't stay looking at your sheet paper. Just listen to yourself. Okay, uh, it's G completely. Always messing it there. Okay, this is the letter H, huh? So that's a little bit more uh, jazz phrasing. One and two. One and two. You start on your left hand. That's difficult. And practice the doubles, man. F especially starting on your weak hand. So my left hand is my weak hand, it has the lead now.
Yeah. All right. H again. It starts with on the last beat of G. One and two. One and two. So that left hand is really important that you hit it there. Really. So um, what we can do on YouTube Live That's the third measure of E. It's a nice phrasing. And he does that with his bass drum. It's not in his sheet. Fives. So... Uh, it's very inspirational. It's nice, maybe I can do that on YouTube Live. To, um, to put in, to let's see how the master is uh, doing it. So I have to go to my uh, drum channel. So Ruben van Roon drum channel, Ruben van Roon drum channel very important to go there on YouTube and of course get subscribed subscribe there subscribe and um, first let me see what is there subscribe and um, first let me see what is there subscribe sound improved sound and the best quality high quality let me see where I have it oh I have it here Ooh. So the more understanding I had about getting around the set of drums, the easier it became to watch someone and all of a sudden comprehend by seeing them do it, something that you maybe couldn't really figure out by just listening. <laughs>
would you say you... watch someone and all of a sudden comprehend by seeing them do it something that you maybe couldn't really figure out by just listening two, That's a nice one. That's a really nice one. So it's very inspirational. See him really do this motion. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the sun for a minute and maybe I come back with some NART practice. Okay, keep practicing and uh, do the best you can. That's the only thing you can do. <laughs> 